thank you all for being here, for getting the chance to, to, to talk to with you today. Um, so basically, I made a film called Transgender Parents, which followed up on a short film called Transforming Family, um, which was really about talking about trans people in the context of our relationships, because there's been so much media made that really focuses on our bodies and on the process of transition. That, I feel, has really kind of kept the conversation and also the knowledge in the world about trans people at a one-on-one -on -one level. And this film was kind of an attempt to try to have a more complex conversation um, with our families, with our neighbors, with our communities about who we are and, and what our lives are like in the world. Um, and basically, I mean, the film is called Transgender Parents. Sometimes you kind of just need to call a cat a cat to start a conversation. But really, the, I guess the journey of film and the strength and the success of film is when you are able to transform consciousness and kind of guide people through so that at the end of a film, by the time they're done watching, they feel like they've kind of broken through a thin membrane of consciousness and you're into another state. And so for this film, what I was hoping, and it's a very simple change, but instead of seeing transgender parents, we're seeing people who are parents who also happen to be transgender. And it's, I guess, in a way, it's about taking the sensationalism out of our lives. Because, yeah, we're extraordinary, but at the same time, we're ordinary. And there's something special, and there's something special to contribute, but at the, at the end of the day, we're human beings. So I like to talk about why identity is important. Why is this such a topic? Why, is, why do we need, why is it such a burning motivation for people? Identity is a source of energy. When you are connected to who you are, when you are aligned in who you are as a person, you are more able to participate in society, to be you know, a valuable citizen and person in your community. Uh, being trans, often people say you know, it can be a spiritual experience, but it's a bit of a mystery, yet it's part of the human experience. And, and <clears throat> being able to connect with that, with that identity, um, I guess, liberates you to kind of be in the world. So when I was interviewing people for the film, I'd interviewed probably about 12 to 20 different people, and there's five people and their families who made it in the film. Everyone had had an experience with the media because it's a big fish topic. People are kind of curious about transsexualism. And the one thread when I asked people, well, what was your experience? Did you have a good experience talking to the journalist or being on the news or being on Oprah even? And the common thread was, you know, the most important part of what I said got cut out, it got left out. And the response was, your story is too complicated. And, and I think that that's a real shame in the sense of there's, there's almost been like a barrier in terms of just complicating our story and trusting that people um, can connect the dots and understand something more complex than what we always show them. And this is all to say, I guess, that there's been generations of trans people who've been trying to break through this membrane in society. And I'm part of that continuum. And I'm benefiting from the work of my elders, okay? And that's a bit of the Echoes theme for me today, is that we've always existed, we've been around for thousands of years, and now we're actually at a really particular time in society and in the world where our stories and our voices are starting to get heard more and more. The next point that I wanted to talk about is just relationships. Um, so the coming to talking about documentary, why it's important and why it's different in journalism is that it gives us an opportunity to go deeper into stories, to make longer relationships. Journalism is kind of a quick turnaround, whereas documentary kind of lets you uh, develop a relationship, get deeper, and develop more trust. And that trust comes out on the screen. Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly when we talk about trans people who are parents, the f most important thing that we need to know is that the research, there's been lots of research about this, and the research says that the kids are okay. Having a trans person as a parent is not the problem. The problem is like the perception in society. Often what happens when people do transition is that it sends a shockwave in our networks, in our family. It forces truth into our family. And sometimes those conversations are hard to have. And when that kind of truth enters any kind of network, it can either pull them closer together 
or can push them farther apart. And one of the consequences that kids often give feedback about is that it's the family breakdown around someone's transition that's actually harder to deal with than the gender transition themselves. So unfortunately, we're still in a time when trans people are, are, are coming out of other transitions and wanting to make a new life in another gender, and they're experiencing loss, and we call it compounded loss. Someone <coughs> is seeking their own truth but at the same time, they'll lose access to their jobs, to their home, to their family, to their source community. And so that's like an incredible amount of loss that's compounded. So that's kind of one of the motivations of the film was to kind of tell that story. And that unfortunately, most trans people, especially trans women today, have lost contact with their families. Now, if the project of the film is to break through a membrane of consciousness, I didn't know if really just talking about all that loss was really going to make the story, was going was to reach our goal. And so most of the film actually is about positive outcomes, telling the stories, highlighting the stories, creating awareness, an echo, and a mirror of what is possible when relationships do work, to kind of model what is possible. And <clears throat> I mean, some of the, one of the things I guess to remember is that, you know, even the words that symbolize our relationships, mother, father, daughter, son, sister, brother, are gendered. And so to have the name that represents your relationship change um, is huge. And that change can be painful. So I guess one of the, the outcomes of the film, or what I'm hoping, is that we can kind of create that social network to hold us, to hold that change, to hold that impact. I guess <clears throat> when I started this project four years ago, I, we discovered that one in four people in Ontario, one in four trans people is a parent. One out of three trans people in the States is also a parent. And when we think in popular consciousness of the word transsexual or transgender, we're not picturing children around that person. And that's the error, that's the, the image that we're trying to change. <clears throat> I guess what's important about being in marginalized communities and being a media maker in marginalized communities um, revolves around the issue or the theme of invisibility, invisibility. Being able to see reflections of yourself in society feeds that identity, feeds yourself, strengthens your soul, your ability to be in the world. So the film, the project, is about contributing to breaking down, breaking down that invisibility. So one of my, I guess, goals, I would say, is at the end of the film or at the end of this talk, that you can reimagine what's in your imagination. Who do you picture when I say transsexual, transgender, parent, family, and community? Because I guess one of the challenges is that we've been isolated. We've been isolated historically. And I want to reframe the way that we're thinking about trans people to picture us within our networks, within families, within communities. Because that's, how, that's the reality, but we need it to become more of a reality. And we need everyone to kind of contribute to making that possible. So that when people speak their truths, which might include a gender transition, the shock wave will bring us closer together instead of pushing us farther apart. There is a concept called social physics that comes from MIT. There's a really great book about it, um, which talks about how great ideas don't necessarily come from the brightest individuals. They come from individuals who know how to collect ideas from a diversity of people. And this is part of the value and the richness of having trans people in your networks, and I would say in your family, is that we're going to contribute in society to the generation of new ideas and bouncing things <coughs> off each other to see things in a new way. So this is Herschel. This is one of the older trans men in the film. Um, and I just kind of leave this image for you to picture. You know, this is not someone that you would necessarily think of as transsexual. But you can definitely see a relationship here. And that's the point of what I'm getting to. And that's it. Thank you.